Hey guys, Layla here, one of Vita Select's top matchmaking experts. In this quick video, I'll explain exactly how Tinder's Top Picks feature works, plus give you two crucial tips on how to get your profile top pick ready. If you want to start matching with hotter women, you definitely want to stick around for those. And if you really want to supercharge your results and start actually meeting attractive women on dating apps, check out the link for Swipe Worthy below. It's a modern dating masterclass for guys like you who want to stop swiping and start dating. So what are Tinder's top picks? It's a feed of curated matches based on your dating preferences that refreshes daily. Top picks takes a user's education, occupation, hobbies, and listed interests and uses that information to sort them into a specific subcategory. For instance, if a person's profile says they're an artist, you might see the label creative emblazoned across their photo. Someone who enjoys rock climbing might be categorized as an adventurer. Is a potential match's education level important to you? Try looking for matches with a scholar label, and so on. To access your top picks, just tap the golden diamond icon on the banner at the bottom of your screen. Then tap 10 top picks on the right to bring up the feed. Here, I should mention that while anyone can access the feature, free users are only able to interact with one pick per day. If you want to swipe, super like, or view profiles for more than just one top pick, you'll have to upgrade to Tinder Gold. Now remember, Paying to view more profiles doesn't automatically translate to getting more matches. There's still the tricky business of getting potential matches to swipe right on you. If you want to get the most out of top picks, then keep watching because those two tips that will take your profile from meh to magic are coming up. But first, is full access to your top picks worth subscribing to Tinder Gold? Remember, with Tinder Gold, you can also see who liked you, swipe right as much as you want each day, unlock Tinder Passport and change your location, limit the information your potential matches see, like your age and your distance away, hide your profile from the masses and only reveal your profile to the women you swipe right on. There are a couple of other perks included, but those are the biggies. How much Tinder Gold costs depends largely on where you live, but it will likely be somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 bucks a month. The monthly price goes down when you invest in a longer subscription. You'll also get full access to your top picks by upgrading to Platinum. That level also unlocks the message before matching feature whenever you send a super like and any like you send is prioritized in the recipient's match feed. For those added privileges, you're looking at somewhere closer to $40 a month. Whichever plan you choose, it's imperative that you swipe through your picks as frequently as possible. Your curated feed refreshes every 24 hours and you don't want to miss connecting with someone who's perfect for you. You actually want to swipe daily and mindfully anyway because that's not only going to teach the algorithm your preferences, it also proves to the algorithm that you're an engaged user who should be rewarded with better matches. Whether you upgrade or use Tinder for free, you'll get somewhere between 4 and 10 new top picks daily, depending on how generous the algorithm is feeling on any particular day. If that number feels a little low, premium subscribers can purchase additional picks in bulk quantities of 10, 20, or 30. Just like your other top picks, these extra profiles will disappear from your Tinder account in 24 hours whether you've looked at them or not. So after your purchase, you better get swiping. The thing is, having Tinder cherry pick your best matches can save you a lot of swiping time. But your profile still needs to compel those potential matches to like you back. In other words, it takes two to Tinder. So now, let's get to those two top picks I promised so you can make your profile a right swipe magnet and ensure that you're getting the most out of the top picks feature. Tip number one, get specific in your bio. I'm sure my fellow ladies will attest to just how big of a difference a good bio can make in our decision to swipe left or right. But you don't just have to impress us to be presented as one of her top picks, Tinder's algorithm must also deem you worthy. 
It uses info like occupation, education, and hobbies to determine your label. So make sure you give it plenty to work with. Here's an example to showcase your sense of adventure and love of travel. Let me know down in the comments what you want your top pick label to be. Are you an adventurer, a scholar, a foodie, or something unexpected? And if you want more examples of a successful Tinder bio, subscribe to our channel and check out our Steelworthy Tinder Bios video. Here's my second tip for getting the most out of Tinder's top picks feature. Optimize your primary photo for the top pick display. First, keep an eye on proportions. Traditional headshot proportions look best in the top pics grid view. Plus, research has shown that images showing the top third of the subject are consistently rated as more attractive. Keep a sharp eye on image quality too. Photos that are blurry, dimly lit, or awkwardly cropped aren't going to stand out in her top pick feed. And if she's using Tinder for free, why would she use her one daily interaction to like your crappy photo when she's got way better options on the table? Strong eye contact with the camera is important here too. You want her to instantly connect with your photo in her top pick feed. Direct eye contact not only catches her attention and draws her in, it also shows confidence. Sunglasses block eye contact, so they're not ideal for your primary photo. If you really want to get scientific about choosing your most effective primary photo and boost the odds she'll match with you as a top pick, here's a bonus tip. Gather a couple strong contenders for the first spot in your lineup and use a photo ranking site like Photo Feeler to have each one rated. It's simply impossible for you to evaluate your own pictures the way a total stranger will. All those years of obsessively checking your reflection in high school Take a toll, and by now, you're so familiar with your own appearance that you miss details a stranger would notice right away. And as you know, the devil is in the details. You want to lead with the pick that other people find most attractive, and the only way to do that is to gather opinions. My team here at Vita Select uses a data-driven photo selection process for every single client of our done-for-you matchmaking service. Your primary photo is the single most important component of your Tinder profile, so it's well worth the time and effort. Don't rely on Tinder's in-app smart photos feature to identify your best photo. It only shuffles through what you give it. The garbage in, garbage out philosophy applies here. If you ask it to rank weak photos, it crowns the best of the worst. And that doesn't help you one bit. Now you know what Tinder pick is, and more importantly, how to optimize her profile so she'll find you in her curated feed. Be sure to get subscribed and click that bell to receive notifications. Our content for Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, and more will help you stop swiping and make dating great again.